So, Mr. Shadow, what do you have for me next time? Oh, don't worry. The next one is a very special movie I have. Rapunzel. Fucking what? Have fun. Rapunzel. So, I'm sure most of you know about Video Brin Quiddo, right? If you've seen Film Brain's review of Ratatouille, or Cartoon Hero's review of Little Princess School or The Little Cars, then you know Video Brain Quiddo is a Brazilian animation company that specializes in cheaply made animated films that rip off much better films from the likes of Pixar, DreamWorks, and Disney. This film is obviously trying to capture the success of Tangled. I would tell you a little bit about the movie, except I can't. I'm not even sure when it came out. The film has no IMDb page, Video Brinquedo's website doesn't mention it, and I can't find anything about the movie online except for the movie itself. This movie is so bad that the internet has rejected it. The only people who care about it are the people who made it. I'm not gonna lie, this is going to hurt, and probably be long. My script is eight pages long. That's longer than my American Hustle review that was about a two and a half hour long movie. This is only 47 minutes! That's because this is going to be different from my usual NDTVs. You see, most of the time I provide commentary over most of the plot, only showing a clip every once in a while. But I can't do that here because there is no plot. Th there just isn't. It, it doesn't exist. So this is going to be more close to a Naughty Reacts or a Naughty Defends, where I just show a clip and then make some snark comment on why it sucks. And before you say that's lazy, shut up. Garbage! They present garbage! From King Garbage of the Garbage Dynasty. Rapunzel. Oh, thank God, for a second I thought I put on the Little Mermaid. In a happy faraway land, Harry Potter had just won the Triwizard Cup, but unfortunately, Edward Cullen had been killed. The sky is always blue, the trees are only green with blossoms, and the great wizard keeps everyone safe from his home in Emerald City. Life is happy and peaceful in the world of far, far away, <coughs> Middle Earth, <coughs> Burke, <coughs> Westeros, <coughs> Fantasia, <coughs> Florin. <coughs> Fuck it, I give up. Life is happy and peaceful in the world of fairy tale land. Fairy tale land? You know, as generic as this world is, I would have expected a better name than that. They could have called this place the happy, happy, wondrous place of smiles and rainbows, and at least it would have shown a little bit of effort. And I'm pretty sure that frog is dead. Unfortunately, sometimes, even in the world of fairy tales, you'll find bad moments and bad people. Well, yeah, they're called villains. Without them, the stories would be boring. I mean, imagine Sleeping Beauty without Maleficent. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a king and queen gave birth to a baby girl named Aora. She lived a life of luxury, married Prince Philip, and lived happily ever after. The end. Nonetheless, bad people still serve a purpose in the world of fairy tales. In fairy tale land, everyone knows what to do in order for their story to have a happy ending. And if your role is being an ugly witch that everyone hates, well... Many of them, though, need to suffer at the hands of bad people. First, they must suffer, almost to the point of breaking. Help! Anyone? Help! Before their happy ending would finally arrive, and all of them gladly obeyed their understood obligations. Oh, so Fairy Tale Land is a land of conformists. Yes. <clears throat> did I say all of them? Yes. Yes, you did. Are you saying you lied? In the reformatory for rebellious characters, not everyone agreed to follow the storyline as it was written. So if you don't conform to what society has written for you, you are thrown in a reform school until you agree to abide by the rules of your society. And all of this takes place in fairy tale land. The sky is always blue, the trees are only green with blossoms, and those who don't work are thrown in prison. 
Housed within the many rooms of the reformatory are characters of fairy tales who didn't agree with their accepted storyline. They rebel in the face of knowing that everything would have naturally come to a happy end. These characters that refused to do the right thing, exactly as it was written, have ended up in the reformatory under the watchful eyes of... The Witch. Okay, so why would they choose a life of torment when they could just get their happy ending? This entire concept is completely and utterly stupid. Known to the inmates as the notorious Mrs. B. The B stands for bullshit. Her real name is the Wicked Witch of the West. On the top floor of the main tower of the reformatory, we find one of the most rebellious of all the characters. Her name, Rapunzel or as she likes to be called, Rap. King Rat's movie, our main character hasn't even spoken yet and I already hate her guts. That is one of the most pretentious things I've ever heard. And if her name is Rap, why isn't the movie called Rap? Even the film itself realizes what a stupid name that is. Or maybe they just thought it wasn't marketable. Unless it's to stupid people. Oh sweet, a movie about the history of rap music. This is fucking terrible. She was never amused by the story of having to throw down her braids just so a prince could come rescue her. Oh, isn't that going to come and bite this movie in the ass? Rap believed that if one day a young man would fall in love with her, he would like her with or without the honey-colored braids. I'm pretty sure the prince didn't fall in love with her hair. The hair was a way for him to get up in the tower and then they fell in love. The idea of endlessly combing her hair in front of a mirror, only to have someone hang from her hair, completely repulsed Rap. And her name completely repulses me, so get over it, you spoiled little bitch. Therefore, Rap decided long ago that she would never put so much as a comb through her hair. Why doesn't she just cut it? She wanted her story to have a different ending. All right, how about an ending where you don't let the prince climb up and instead he bursts through the door and strangles you with your long, curly, unkempt hair. And at shower time, she would not consider a cream rinse. And of course, intensive hydrating was out of the question. For rap, there would be no straps, elastic headbands, or tiaras. What the hell are you looking at? As time passed, Rap's hair got so enmeshed and tangled that you couldn't even get a little finger to slip through her hair. Ooh, I got it! You could only call what sat atop her head an impenetrable nest. Even shampoo could not reach the root of the problem. I get it! She doesn't want to comb her hair! Just shut up! Despite her rather insane appearance... I know, girls with curly hair are just fucking weird. Rap was a really sensitive and intelligent girl <laughs> who believed that she could change her story with the power of her songs. And I'll keep wondering, 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 what will my life begin? Between the activities imposed on her by Mrs. B, Rap created songs that expressed her true feelings of how the life of a fairy tale character wasn't easy. How? You literally just have to sit around and wait for some dude to climb your hair. And besides, she loved to sing. I just wish I had little wings to fly, fly away from where I'm now. Way beyond this room, way beyond the sky, I need to find your love right now. No, it's not good. Actually, that's the one thing in this movie that isn't completely terrible. Yes, that song is the highlight. You know, let's take a break from watching the movie and talk about the animation. It's terrible. But it's a special kind of terrible. And it actually legitimately pisses me off. You see, with other bad animated films like Food Fight, Alpha and Omega 2, and even other video Brinquedo movies like Ratatouille and The Little Panda Fighter, they were all made with CGI. So there was at least a little bit of an excuse as CGI is very hard and not exactly cheap. 
This movie is done in Flash. And don't get me wrong, I know making something in Flash isn't easy. However, what really pisses me off is that the animation keeps repeating, the characters are so stiff, and the whole thing looks unbelievably lifeless and lazy. I have seen Flash animations on the web made by people with little or no budget that look 1,000 times better than this. So this animation isn't just bad, it's pathetic. <laughs> Very well. Let's just cut to the chase and get to what really matters around here. Have you completed all your homework? Yes, I did, Mrs. B. I see. Well then, did you, for example, read the chapter Good Manners for Fairy Tale Girls? Yes, I did, Mrs. B. Have you finished reading that wonderful book that discusses the extreme importance of following your role in a fairy tale? Yes, I did, Mrs. B. Oh, and did you study about the de- SHUT UP! Okay? I get it! Just show me something of substance! You are never going to be permitted to leave this reformatory. Furthermore, this horrible hair situation of yours needs to be resolved. Nobody touches my hair, Mrs. B. I may spend the rest of my days here in this reformatory, but I'm not going to be forced to give in. You're stupid. What do you want me to say? This entire scene is basically just repeating the same stuff over and over again. Follow your story. No! You're a troublemaker. You're ugly! Rinse and repeat for about six minutes! Who do you think you're kidding with that load of malarkey? Not me. I doubt you don't care. So who wants to be alone? Tell me who! You, for example. I don't think anyone's ever seen you searching for a Mr. B. Wow, you're a total bitch. Also, if her name is Mrs. B, that implies she has a husband, you dumb little shit. Hey, Rap, what's up? I was thinking of you all day. I thought you were alone. Sorry to interrupt. It's okay, I'll come back later. I hate you. I hate everything about you. I hate your voice. I hate your design. I hate your personality. I hate you so much, Cinderella. No, no, you can come in, young lady. I've been meaning to have some words with you anyway. Oh boy, I don't like the sound of this, but here it comes. Wasn't there a little something you wanted to share with us, Miss Cinderella? Why no, Mrs. B, I have no idea what you could even be talking about. Do you have something you want to talk to me about? I want to know if you have completed all your homework. Why the hell would she think of that when you asked if there's something she wants to talk about? Yes, Mrs. B, I've just finished doing my posture and good manners exercises. However, I do seem to be stuck on the chapters that deal with the important dates that occurred in Fairy Tale Land. It's hard for a princess like me to memorize all those dates. Oh my god. This movie is taking feminism back ten years every time that character speaks. You shouldn't be walking around before you've committed all those dates to memory. Now, what do you want here? I came to visit my friend. I figured that she would still be refusing to brush her hair, so she would be grounded and completely forbidden to leave her room. Well, that's an oddly specific assumption. And you think that's perfectly acceptable? You're under the impression that's good? Movie, if you want me to see this woman as a villain, you have to make sure that she is in the wrong. Asking your students who are flat out breaking the law is not morally wrong. No, Mrs. B, no way. Uh-uh. No, no. Bibbidi bop kazow. I can't be pressured. No way, no how. Sorry, I had to get some actual good animation in there before my brain exploded. I only came to support my friend and... Oh, you're conceited and take care of your appearance? How about trying to convince her to fix her hair? D did the movie just acknowledge that one of its heroes is a terrible character? Now just wait a darn minute. I myself am also conceited. The only thing is that I'm not going to brush my hair to follow the story they chose just so a prince who I don't even know if I'm going to like will end up hanging around for my hair. We get it. Please move on. We already had this discussion today, young lady. Enough. I meant what I said before. If you don't comb your hair, you won't have the privilege of the fairy band. Congratulations, movie. You have me totally siding with the bad guy. How awful. She won't have a fairy band? That's absolutely right. And if you keep complaining too much, I'll take your mirror away for a week. 
No, no, it's all okay, Mrs. B. I'll be quiet without complaining. What you hear is the sound of Susan B. Anthony rolling furiously in her grave. Good, young lady. Right answer. But I have one more question. Have you accepted your story? I'll accept my prince when he arrives, but I refuse to suffer at the hands of my shrewish stepmother and those two monstrous stepsisters. So in other words, you want the good without the bad. You want your perfect life without doing any work at all. You fail as a thing. Why, I'm sure even Joan of Arc would rebel against them. Did you really just compare yourself to Joan of Arc? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the most pretentious character in all of media. So I won't take it, no way. Oh, I don't understand you girls. Both of you know full well that there's always a happy ending. Why do you bother getting caught up in how that happens? You just explained why your plot doesn't work. Why won't you just accept your stories? How do you expect me to simply tolerate my crazy stepmother who's always mistreating me and making me feel sad? How can I be expected to not say anything, Mrs. B? Haven't we already covered this? For the love of God, move on to something else! Enough! You are aware of the consequences for this bad behavior of yours. That's why you are here in the reformatory. Yes, we know all this. Where's the story? Oh boy. I thought she would never get out of here. And I almost got grounded for nothing. You fucking bitch. That's completely crazy. She is the way she is because every day she wakes up and has to look in the mirror at herself. Tell me, do you really think that there's any mirror in fairy tale land that will tell her she's the most beautiful thing? Movie, why? Why do you think that I, or any decent human being, would sympathize with these two? They aren't nice, they aren't funny, they aren't on the right side of the morality line. What am I supposed to like about them? I don't think so. <laughs> if you ask me, I think she looks much more like a dragon than a witch. Right? <laughs> 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 so, my friend, how are you? Well, Cindy, I have come up with some great ideas for some wonderful new songs and lyrics. And I have come up with some wonderful new ideas for cars and engines. Oh, you're kidding. Can I hear them? I'll only be too happy to oblige. After all, you are the most loyal fan I have. And the only one. There's a reason for that. You know, Cindy, I don't create my music just so I can one day be famous. You see, music is special to me. In fact, I think it's the coolest thing that exists. I wake up every day ready to sing. It's singing that makes me happy. I like being bad. It makes me happy. That's easy to see, Rap. Your songs are great. You want to know how they make me feel? They make me feel like dancing. Okay, fasten your seatbelt, Cindy, because this new one is crazy. Of course they have computers in fairy tale land. Woo! You keep knocking on my door, but I don't want you to come in. That's it. This is the worst song ever. All the things you have to say? No, that's it. You fail. You can't start a song with, You keep knocking on my door, but I don't want you to come in and expect it to be good. You fail. Rebecca Black is laughing at you. And you just made me make a Friday reference. Now I'll cut the strings. It's time to stop it. Hey, I do not doubt that in any way whatsoever. Glad you like it. You have no idea how many days I spent working on this song until it came out just the way I wanted. That took days? That, that means it took more than two minutes. Oh, okay, let me tell you a story. When I was younger, I wrote a song called Tomorrow. It had the lyrics, you can party or play with Marty. And that was still a better song than this. It was worth the effort, my friend. Shut up, Cindy. Just shut up. If you ever tell this girl she has a fraction of talent again, I'm going to punch you in the stomach. Well, I have some other new ones on my computer. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
Before I do, I want to show you something really cool. Check out these great costumes I found on the net mirror. Yeah, I want to see that. But first, let me show you some clothes I want to buy. Wow, Cindy, they look great, but they cost six dollar signs, and we don't have that in our budget. Also, blue clothes. Blue clothes. I don't have anything to say. I think it speaks for itself. How nice. I would buy at least three of these. What a fab design. Isn't it great? And it comes in a to-die-for blue as well. <laughs> what do you think? You like them? I just love them. They match you. Hey, would you like to see my microphones? Oh, for sure. God, would you just consider having a plot? This movie has been on for 20 minutes and nothing has happened. What the heck is that thing? Oh, that? Oh, it's no big thing at all. You know, if you don't show me what it is, I'm going to end up thinking it's a love letter to the drooling ogre from the Good Manners class. God, if you can hear me, can you please strike me with lightning? Please? It's a song I wrote, but it's a kind of mellow song. I don't know if you can relate to this. That is a true statement. Oh, rap. You know, I just love romantic songs. Forget it. I'm not really in the mood to sing it now. Are you saying you're actually going to hide it from me? Me, your number one fan? Oh, Cindy. Come on, I'm shy. For me? Come on! Am I your best friend or not? Yes, you are. So then? Just sing your freaking song! All right then. But don't laugh at me, okay? Yay! <laughs> um, excuse me, Mr. Director. Do you think we can maybe try that line again? No. But, Mr. Director... No buts. Time is time that I could be spending watching two striving actresses mud wrestle while bathing in my muddy bath. It's gotta be you anytime. Well, let's see. The lyrics are bland and uninspired, the music is the same notes repeated over and over, and the singer is slightly tone deaf. And yet, it's still the best thing in the movie. Meanwhile, in the forest of fairy tale land, very close to Mrs. B's reformatory, two lonely guys, uh, I mean, two young princes. Yes. We are 22 minutes into a 47 minute movie, and we are just now meeting our prince. You know, in Tangled, they had already met and were on their adventure by this point, and that was twice the length. Prince and Encantado. Of course his name is Prince, why would I expect any different? Wander without any particular destination. Oh, this silly boy decided to play his game again, and now sad hearts will beat stronger. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, huh, well. What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. I have no patience, Encantado. It's so tedious, this boring story of waiting for a girl who I don't even know and who I won't love. You don't have to tell me about it, Prince. Have you ever noticed how little we count in fairy tale land? Everything depends on the princesses. No, 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 no. You do not get to have some sort of social commentary on sexism and fairy tales. And besides, the prince is always the one to save the day. Even in The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. Hell, even in the movie this film is ripping off. Yeah, buddy. But we need to be satisfied with our studies and hobbies while we wait endlessly for the promised ones. Yeah. Speaking of hobbies, have you written any new songs lately? Still waiting. I have a great new one. I wrote it while thinking of the love that I know I'll one day find. Well, Cindy, I have come up with some great ideas for some wonderful new songs and lyrics. Music is like that, my friend. When I play my guitar, the world just seems to disappear. You see, music is special to me. In fact, I think it's the coolest thing that exists. Do you really want to hear it? Of course! 
You know I'm your biggest fan. After all, you are the most loyal fan I have. You mean you're my only fan. And the only one. That's the way it is now. Soon you're going to be the biggest star here in fairy tale land. The day you leave the reformatory and leave this fairy tale land, you will have admirers from all over. You know I don't compose to be famous, dude. I only want to play my solos. I don't create my music just so I can one day be famous. <laughs> You were rockin', Prince! Thanks, I got it with my free trial of GarageBand. Oh, I totally believe that guitar can also play drum beats. What are you thinking, Cantado? How was that? Stolen. You obviously stole it from someone else. You know what's missing now? What? Some great lyrics for my songs. Oh gee, I wonder where this is going. I didn't know you could sing. No, I can't sing at all. If you would want me to, I can try. You would? Are you kidding me or what? Well, why not? You're totally tone deaf. Remember the day when you tried playing rock band? So the world of fairy tale land not only has internet, but it also has rock band. I hate this movie. La 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 Okay, movie, there's a way to do a joke about off-key singing and do it right? And there's a way to do it wrong. I'm making it clean. I'm making it clean. <laughs> you chose wrong. Ah, uh, well, okay, maybe you're right. Encantada, you're a great friend. I thought he was your brother. Keep cool, little brother. Way beyond this room, way beyond the sky, I need to find your love somehow. <laughs> oh, Rob, it's so beautiful! No, the word you're looking for is adequate. You know, of course, that they put the window up high so nobody can talk to her. What if she's dangerous? Have you thought about that? Oh, you're so dramatic! Yes? Ah. Oh. The idea of you two reproducing is one of the scariest thoughts to ever come across my brain. Oh, you heard me singing? I didn't think I had an audience. You have the most beautiful voice. It's okay. Why are you in this reformatory? It's a long story. But basically, I'm against following a life that was already chosen for me. That wasn't a long story. Gosh, besides the beautiful voice, you even have personality. If by personality you mean she's a complete bitch, then... Yeah! Oh, I found my prince, and I can't believe it, but he is everything I've ever dreamed about, my friend. And his friend, the guy interested in me, isn't bad either, you know? What the hell is wrong with your hands? They look like lobster claws. Why do you have lobster claws for hands? Bye, friend. Ah. And Rapunzel's dead. Ugh. How will I ever be able to talk to this guy if I'm cooped up in here? I've got it! I'm gonna fix my hair. So, you are going to go against everything you believe in for a guy you barely know. You know, that's actually a pretty scary idea. A girl is trying to go against what society has planned for her, but then a guy comes along and they fall in love, and she is forced to conform to society's ways. That's actually a pretty scary thought! I'm the luckiest man alive! Oh, fuck off. Gee, it felt like that crazy class was never gonna end! You fuck off too! You actually decided to fix your hair and make it look nice? I'm gonna comb my hair because I want to, because I feel like doing it, and not because someone else told me to. But you're doing it for the exact same reason they want you to! What do you mean? Isn't it forbidden to visit you? Yes, but I've got a surefire way around it, big boy. Uh? Holy shit, she has hair! Oh, wow. These lyrics are really cool, Rap. I can make a totally tubular melody to go along with it. Oh, go away. It sounded like there was another person here. 
And it couldn't be Cinderella because she's downstairs with that new friend of hers. So you don't have a problem with them being with boys as long as they aren't grounded? You know, this woman is less a villain and more a mom who just wants to teach her daughter a lesson. Again, you're making me side with the bad guy movie, and based on how the story is going, I think she's gonna get what she wants. What happens if she catches me here? I don't even want to think about it. When somebody disobeys her orders, she's capable of more evil than a little bit. Who wrote that line? There's an elf here who hasn't been able to speak for a year. How come? How come? Because he had the audacity to disobey Mrs. B, so she hid his tongue. You've been disobeying her this whole film and nothing's happened to you, so I'm just going to assume you're making shit up to make yourself look like the good guy. Mm. I'll come back the same time tomorrow. Keep your braids ready for me now. Hmm. Oh. Who edited that? And so the days pass by. Rap and Prince secretly got together every day. Don't have enough time and money to develop your characters? Just tell the audience what they're doing through narration. After all, you have more important shit to do, like repeating the same stuff over and over and over! Rap showed her songs to Prince, and Prince showed his songs to Rap. They sang and played together for many afternoons, and with each day they fell more and more in love. It reminds me of a beautiful fairy I met one day at the wizard's bar. That wonderful hair, those shiny eyes. Oh my god, will someone please have sex with this man so we'll stop having his sexual fantasies while narrating? Their story was soon going to be taking a turn for the worse. I can't believe what my lion eyes are seeing. You're the only one in this movie who's been the least bit truthful. Has she finally decided to give in and follow her destiny? But I wonder why on earth she wants to hide it. Hmm. Today I crack this case wide open. All she's doing is her job. What am I supposed to hate about her? What the hell are you so surprised about? You already saw that happen! Gotcha! I caught you red-handed! Oh. Now the two of you will have to face the consequences meant for hooligans like you! Why, this is exactly what you wanted! Oh. Stay away from me, you witch! <laughs> wow. Fail. You came snooping around my reformatory, and now, as a punishment, you'll never see Rapunzel again! Rap! Disappear from Prince's sight! Rap? Rap? I can't see you! I'm right here, Prince! Alright, I'll give the movie this. That's actually a pretty decent idea for a villain scheme. But again, this is exactly what Mrs. B wanted. Character consistency? What's that? No, stay away! Why don't you have pity on me, you witch? Why should I? I never noticed you had any pity on me! Rap, now you will be going straight to the boondocks! Oh. Good! I would much rather watch the boondocks than this! <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve such a harsh treatment as this? Well, let's see, we could go down the list again, but that would be a waste of time since I can pretty much sum it up in four words. You. Are. A. Bitch. Oh. Where am I? How did I get here? Prince. Prince. Walk away, you dumb shit. The days pass by. And Prince was consumed, running around fairy tale land looking for rap. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more The feet of man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door.
this is our climax, the same three bits of animation repeated except with different backgrounds. I don't care. I, I really don't care. Prince couldn't stop looking for his love, but nobody knew where she was. Not even Cindy, who suffered without her best friend. Good! One day, between the border of fairy tale land and the Forbidden Forest... Forbidden Forest? This is bullshit! What now? What's gonna happen to me now? You've been standing in the same place for days. You should be dead. I just wish I had little wings to fly. Fly away from where I'm now. Rap? Even Maybe knowing that no- Shut up! J just shut up! Rap, keep singing! I just wish I had little wings to fly. Fly away from where I'm now. Listen, Rap, I still can't see you. Then open your eyes. Mm -hmm. oh. Rap, my love, it's really you. You keep knocking on my door, but I don't want you to come in. Rap, you fail. You fail as a singer, you fail as a songwriter, you fail as a thing that exists. All my life, I've been your puppet. And that's how this beautiful story ends. Fuck you! After her being so evil, Mrs. B will have to spend a long time cleaning up her act. So she was just doing what she was told to do from society, telling Rap to do what she was told to do from society, which Rap ended up doing. This movie runs on troll logic. And do you have any idea what happened to the reformatory for rebellious characters? Well... It was closed once and for all. And with no money at all and no happily ever after for them, they were forced to live on the streets until they starved to death. After all, on the road of life, it doesn't matter how many turns we make or which way we go, destiny, no, oh, that little scamp, always finds a way to make the ending happy. And I do mean always. Why did that sound like a threat? always finds a way to make the ending happy. And I do mean always. So that was Rapunzel. It was fucking awful! Horrible animation, horrible voice acting, horrible story, horrible writing, horrible characters, and horrible editing. But you know, that's not what pisses me off. If those were the only problems, then this may have been so bad it's funny. No, the reason this movie infuriates me is because there was no effort put into this thing at all. Everything else that I have ever reviewed at least had some effort, somewhere. Even Postal was at least trying to piss me off. Even Spider's Web was trying to teach a lesson. This movie doesn't try to get any emotion out of me at all, because it doesn't care at all. And if you don't care, Rapunzel, why the hell should I? Worst animated thing ever! Be sure to get my good side. <laughs> Second worst animated thing ever! Anyway, I think this has gone on long enough. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I just wish I had little wings to fly. Fly away from where I'm now What the hell is going on?